gentleman down the front, I believe, is a historian. He said earlier on in the programme, what is the point of all this? Well, the point of it is, if he's a historian, then he's obviously researched history. History is usually written down from information gleaned over the centuries. My brother was a, was a soldier in Cromwell's army in the, in the period in the 1640s. Which brother is this? It's Peter. Right, could you stand up, Peter? Let's have a look at you. I see. And on the sessions of hypnosis, he's given names, dates and places of battle sites and campsites that the soldiers camped at in various locations in the country. Have you made a study of this, sir? Oh, yes. You have? So he could have just remembered no, what he studied? Because, no, because we've already checked. None of the campsites, especially that he's named under hypnosis, have ever been found in any documentation anywhere. We've at the moment got the Scottish um, Archaeological Society going to research a couple of these sites. They knew the soldiers were in the area, but they've never for three centuries known where. He knows where they are. So you believe him? Well, we've been on those sites. He's physically taken us to the sites, 300 odd miles to Scotland, and we've, we've found artefacts dating from the, crumb, uh, the Civil War period in that particular location. In are one you a particular superstitious spot. man, sir? Are you a religious man? No, I'm not. Do you believe any, anything of this, these huge leaps of faith? Is this the only sort of, so to speak, irrational thing you believe in? Oh, yeah. It, 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 to him, it's not irrational. I mean, you historians are saying they've got to read something that's written down in the book. He has the information. But right. the historians haven't seen it. Right, hang on, hang on. Everybody. Personally, from my personal experience, I find that death is very, very too final, really. And like that gentleman over there, I agree. I think we keep coming back and keep coming back until we actually... What makes you feel that? Because... Well, I've got a fear, that, an, an unexplainable fear. I mean, I can swim, I'm a brilliant swimmer, but I've just got this really bad fear of drowning. There's but just... aren't these just simple phobias? Yes, maybe. I mean, you're all in touch with your own opinion, but I personally think that death is just is too final. I can't see how we can be here and, and then all of a sudden we're just gone. So you believe in reincarnation? I believe there's something. I don't know what, and I'd love to know, but I do believe that there's something that keeps us going. Right, well, I'm afraid... But, uh, yes, madam. Uh, like her, I would love to believe we go on, but it seems very unlikely, um, at least in this, this stage. And the other, the other fascinating thing is, so far, I've met at least two Mary Queen of Scots reincarnated, and both of them have said, you can only have one at a time. <laughs> right. Yeah, so, well... <laughs> we seem to have a number of Mary Queen of Scots here in the studio. Thank you, everyone, for taking part in this discussion. And